Hey College Success, this is going to be your very last video that covers your final project. So as I'm under the lessons tab and I scroll down, again, I will always have more than you to get through, uh, but the final project videos right here already, steps one and two, steps three and four, and step five have already been uploaded, walking you through each of the components. So those will all go into depth. The purpose of this video is just to give an overview, a reminder of what each section is asking, as well as just giving you a chance to maybe take a look at your project, polish it, maybe send it to me for review, Hopefully not to start it right now. Um, hopefully you've already started it because it is due very soon. You can see your final drop box is down here. It'll eventually be open and hopefully you are noticing it is due on a Friday, Friday, May 14th. So you don't have like that extra weekend. Um, grades are closing that day. I will have them wrapped up. So please make sure that you are aware of that. That's in your syllabus. It's you know, it'll be in the announcements, it's in the videos. So just make sure that you have that done. That is the end of week 16, Friday, May, uh, May 14th. All right, so there's another copy of the directions here. So if we pull those up, this again is just going to go over. I'm not gonna go into a lot of depth here because that's what the other videos are for. So as a reminder, this is a PowerPoint. It is on your career path your current career path, your desired career path, or maybe the career path that you are thinking about. So step one or slide one, well, technically slide one will be your title slide, your name, your major. But the very first content slide is just going to be a description of your career, about a paragraph in length. It's going to tell me what kind of responsibilities, duties, tasks, you know, expectations of someone in the field. So for all of those, if you recall, you know, for a lot of it, we went to the um, bls.gov site. You know, you searched up here to find your information on your particular major. We also used a lot of career coach and browse careers right here to find the information. We also use ONET online. So those were three of the primary sources that we used. So just as a quick reminder, if you haven't started, I really hope you have, if you haven't started, those were the, the locations of the sites that I recommended using at first. Now you can definitely use other sources beyond that, but those were good places to start. So you're going to give me a paragraph and speak to me, who's your primary audience, since we're, we're um, online, normally this would be presented to a whole class. Speak to me and just, you can operate under the assumption I've never heard of your career before. I mean, obviously I have most of your careers. I'm, I'm pretty familiar with at this point, but that's, that's kind of how you're going to write. Give me a paragraph as if you're writing to someone who's not heard of your field before. So you can really make them understand the kind of responsibilities and tasks that you'll have to complete. Step two, give an overview of the pathway. So basically like a flow chart or a list of, you know, step one, I have to get my associate's degree. Step two, I have to take some kind of licensure exam. Step three, I need to get an internship or an entry level position. Step four, I need to get a bachelor's degree. So you're really walking me through, you know, at what point do you need to get to in order to get kind of where you wanna be in your field? Hmm? Step three, a credible professional organization. For this, we said you could like Google this because steps one and two, you can use similar sources, the BLS, the ONET, Career Coach. For step three and even step four, you can use the same sources. We did a Google search in the videos for step three and four where we you know, did a Google search and we try to find the organizations that are professional related to your career. And you're going to do two things with that. Give me a real quick overview. Like, what's the purpose? Why was this organization you know, formed? And then what are some benefits to its members? If you were to join, why would that be beneficial? Step four, you could probably use your association organization to get this information. What are the code of conduct? What are the professional expectations of behavior, the, the guidelines, the way you're supposed to conduct yourself as a professional in the field? Okay, and that's about a paragraph in length as well. And then the last slide should be your APA format slide. Okay, real quickly, I just wanna point out, I often get 
slides that look like this. It'll say citation, and then it'll have a website. That's not a citation. Okay, so you really want to make sure that when I say APA format, go back to my step five video and look what I mean by APA format. This is not a citation. This is a link to a source, but it's not cited. So please make sure your citation slide is not just a list of websites. It is actually in citation format. And then before you fully turn it in, just give it a once over on the rubric. How would you grade yourself? You know, how would you go through? Would you give yourself like all of these points? Would you know, every single category, would you give yourself the full amount? And if you honestly say, oh, I don't think so, then I probably won't either. So you want to make sure you go through and really make sure everything is checking the boxes, so to speak, on this rubric. Again, I know I've mentioned it before, but if you want to send it to me to look at before you fully turn it in, you are welcome to. I would send it to me via Blackboard course messages in an attachment or share the link through Google Drive or uh, send it in an email attachment. When the Dropbox opens up, I'll probably open it up probably in like the end of week 14, week 15, so in case anyone gets finished early. But when I see it in the Dropbox, I'm going to assume that means you're ready for me to grade it and enter it, not just feedback, but grade it and enter it. If you send it to me otherwise, it's going to be, you know, here are some feedback for you. All right, so I hope that's helpful. Please make sure you review the previous videos if you wanna go more in depth with any of those steps. Make sure you read all of the instructions and the rubric. And I look forward to seeing your final projects. Bye.